My name is Chris Nargang. I'm uh, Mississauga, uh, First Nation, Indigenous person from Burley Falls, Ontario, uh, with my status coming out of Curve Lake, Ontario. The show was very important to me um, as an archaeologist and as a, I'm a chief in my community and I've done a lot of things that you know I thought were good for me and I but I, I still didn't feel whole. Uh, I felt that with my the way my life worked out and the way my culture came to me, it was hidden. My grandmother was in residential school, um, so we were never we never knew who we were. We always kind of did things. We were in, in an area. We, I'm still in the same area I was when I was a child, and the same people are still there. But I didn't even know they were related to me. And I wondered how many people have the same thing happen to them, and how many people are lost, such as I am, um, trying to find out and break through this barrier of, of living in which world do I live in and, and how, how does this all relate and how did this happen? So once I started to look into that and I started to you know, check into my own life and try and find out who I was, I realized there was a lot more people lost than me and there's a lost culture. And a lot of it is because of education and people not being informed and people not understanding who Indigenous people are. When I went back and I did archaeology, I found out that our people are only considered prehistory, which is kind of a weird word, I thought, you know, to, to attach to a culture which means that history never began until, until contact came. Meanwhile, there's tens of thousands of years where our people have existed and coexisted with nature and the world and had a happy life. And it's just a whole different perspective that I don't think anybody in Canada and probably the world really understands. So I thought education was needed and I thought it was a, this is a great project to try and offer some answers to some of these questions and try and explain to Canada especially who Indigenous people are so maybe they'll understand our story more and maybe have more questions about who we are and, and why they should relate to us in a better way. Indigenous identity is a really interesting question. I mean, I'm Indigenous, I have my status card which the government allows me to carry now and a card doesn't give you acceptance and, it, and the hardest part I think to uh, to accept as what is an indigenous person is within yourself. I think we have a long way to go to heal. Uh, I think it's been forced upon us. I think the government has put us in a situation to try and, and split us apart and break us apart and try and make us so we don't understand who we are. You know, the government has a hundred year plan to, to eliminate us. And they've not, they've not relented on that. So to try and become indigenous again, I found was really hard to try and find out who I was. And, I think the one thing about the show that I did learn, people that we met and the strength of character changed my whole perspective of who I am. And I feel the show has, has brought me to more of a comforted area um, where I actually, I met a lot of people in the same situation as me. And I realize we're all struggling, but I also realize the power of the people that are out there and the movement that's happening right now. And things are changing. It's gonna be better. There's never accolades for anybody in, in anything that speaks out. I'm sure there'll be people that look at me and they'll go, well, he doesn't look like an Indian. So for me, I know there'll be backlash. People will look at it and they'll say, well, he doesn't speak for me. And I think the show is beyond that. I don't think we speak for anybody. I think what we've tried to do with this show is ask the questions and show the people that are actually out there doing the actual work that are in the communities doing those kind of things. It's not a perspective that Serene and I have. It's not we're forcing things down people's throats. And I think if people are realistic and people will listen, take the time to just understand that Indigenous comes in all shapes, forms and colors. Uh, genes kick out anywhere they want. I am who I am. I am Indigenous. I, I feel that spirit, That's nothing's changed and, and my outer appearance is not going to change those things. Just try to find the true story and that's all I'm trying to do now. And criticize or not, I'm still just going to go out and try and find the truth and offer information, try and educate and hopefully uh, people will have a different perspective and not just categorize us and put us in this box the government created around us. People don't seem to realize that our people used to live in balance and harmony with life. We never ever looked at us as, at ourselves any different than any of the animals. It was harmonious. We were the two-legged, there was four-legged, there was winged, there was the waters. I mean, everything was in balance. We lived in sync with the world. And we've lost that. The walk back for me on future history took me back to the people that are still there. They still live in balance. They realize what's happening in the world. They're watching climate change. They're watching all these things. We live for tens of thousands of years as indigenous people not caring where you were from or who you were from and we would adopt you in, it didn't matter. 
That wasn't an issue. The issue was being a community and we've lost that in our world. And I think Future History brought that forward for me to realize that Indigenous knowledge and Indigenous people, no matter what our shape or form, are very valuable and it's time to go back to the, the roots of it all and learn how to live in balance and harmony again as a community. I was so happy to meet Serene. Serene's kind of like the extreme opposite of me. I had to learn and come from a whole different perspective to try and find out who I am. Where Serene has the, the beauty about Serene is she, she grew up in her culture. She's, she's lived it. She actually doesn't, she didn't just live it, she lives it still. She uh, made me realize that I shouldn't feel guilty about not knowing who I am and, uh, or feel guilty going forward trying to find out you know, the ways to go forward and, and to be indigenous. And I think that everybody in the situation I'm in as we try and find our way through, you need to talk to anybody you can uh, and try and find a path that suits you to get you to where you need to go. And if Serain is the future of our, of our people, um, our history will be great.